This series of tutorials will guide educators or students through the creation of a VoiceThread digital story. To begin, teachers will need to register at ed.voicethread.com. Once registered, sign in to the site and you will arrive at the Education VoiceThread home screen. This video will explain how to add and organize media to your story. Locate and click on the Create tab located near the top of the screen. This screen is your work area. Many types of media can be used in a voice thread, including images, video, documents, and PowerPoint slides. To add media to your presentation, locate and click on the Upload button in the upper left part of the screen. You have four options for locations of your media. My computer refers to files already saved to your computer's hard drive. Media Sources allows you to integrate media files from your previous VoiceThread stories, Flickr.com's collection of images and video, your images on Facebook, or images from the online collection of the New York Public Library. The URL option allows media files on other websites to be embedded using their hyperlinks. This is a useful option because free accounts have a limited storage capacity and embedding media allows content to be added without using up an account's storage capacity. My Webcam allows users to record images or video directly from their webcams. For this tutorial, we will use the My Computer option. Click on the My Computer button. Now, browse to the file folder containing the media you wish to add. To add an item, click on it, then click Open. If you wish to add more than one item, hold the Control button on a PC or the Command button on a Mac and click on all of the items you wish to add to your presentation. Click Open when finished. Once your items are uploaded to VoiceThread, you can rearrange their order by simply clicking and dragging to place the items in their desired place. You are now ready to add narration to your story.